everyone welcome to another episode of eetv where i strive to break everything in entertainment and it is fan theory time for all my power rangers fans which i am included in because i'm a huge power rangers fan and super sentai fan and common writer fan uh though i haven't done too many videos on common writer but i am going to start but uh this is a video uh fan video dedicated to what i think is going to happen at the end of power rangers cosmic fury so let's begin we all know that it's coming on september 29th and that certain things have already been revealed but what if i told you that because this is not only that you already know this is the 30th anniversary of power rangers but because this is the end of the whole power rangers saga before the reboot of course many of you know that that it is a strong possibility that the end of power rangers cosmic fury will culminate in a huge battle that will incorporate rangers that we have seen from uh other teams that's why i think it's going to happen now we all know watching uh super mega force that legendary battle was very lackluster and it was lackluster on both sides have you seen the legendary battle and if you're like me you watch the legendary battle and super mega force and before that you watch go kaiger and you watch the legendary battle and that was it, even though it was better than super mega forces it was still kind of lackluster i think that the creators of cosmic fury are going to make up for that and that the final battle of cosmic fury will incorporate other ranger teams in a legendary battle to finally finish off lord zed and the legend that battle is going to put the legendary battle for mega force to shame and i think that is a great idea because it's going to go out like with a bang now i'm not trying to do too much comparison because i also think they're going to leave it open-ended just in case the reboot doesn't do well but that's further on down the road so let let me explain here for those of you who are longtime power ranger fans remember power rangers in space the last two episodes how that kind of wrapped up the zordon era and they had a, a a fight at the end and it was the ranger the rain the rangers protecting angel grove and angel grove was a mess and all the civilians were helping them fight and you know their identities got revealed to the public and it was an all-out battle i think it's going to be cosmic the end of Com cosmic fury is going to be that same scale now not necessarily that their identities are going to be revealed in, but the battle is going to be a battle that incorporates many ranger teams fighting against the forces of evil to, to finally put it into them and to go out with a bang like this would be great and i'm looking forward to it now if those of you who are longtime rager fans were not paying attention this is information that has been out for a while and the information that i'm speaking of is that you already know that uh, this the 30th anniversary and special once and always in cosmic fury was a you know both of them were filmed around the same time and because of that you know we have certain uh actors and actresses that could have been incorporated into some of the episodes if not the final episode of or episodes of power rangers cosmic fury so i do expect that we definitely going to see men there we're definitely going to see zach there as well and who knows we may we may even see kimberly aka amy joe johnson we may even see her there so you know uh, i'm looking forward to this you know i'm not going to speed through it you know I i'm definitely uh planning something uh special for this you know i've been a huge power rangers fan for a huge time so i'm going to do something special for when cosmic fury comes out and we're going to analyze all the episodes and everything all together but i think everything's going to combine to a huge battle and the battle is going to be great we're going to get a, a a wonderful Zord sequence, and we're also going to get a sequence where the Rangers are in a huge 
huge battle and their backs against the wall and they're going to be able to pull it out and those of you who are sentai fans also like me like myself it's it, i think it's going to be on that level like we're going to see rangers get hurt and that's already been proven javi his right arm is in an exoskeleton and like i said it's y7 so i don't think his arm is um uh, is completely gone and it's a prosthetic i think it's just an exoskeleton but then again, I could be wrong, but we'll find out. But this is showing here that the level of evil that Lord Zed is going through is to be taken seriously. Because I think Javi is going to be the one, one of the first casualties. That he's not going to be taken out, but he's going to be damaged to the point that, that he's. they're going to use Javi as the litmus test to show how dangerous this new Lord Zed is. Remember, this Lord Zed is completely incarnate evil just like robo reader was because you know at the end of power range in space both the, the the people who are lord zed and rita they got the evil removed from the actual person so this is just pure incarnate evil lord zed who is capable of anything so obviously going to be the litmus test and their backs are going to be against the wall billy cranston is going to come in with the powers and they're going to chase Lord Zed. I think also there's going to be a meeting of the mind from the Rangers, which means we're also, I think also we're going to see the Rangers meet up together, like different Ranger teams. I think the InSpace team will be there and also think the Mighty Morphin team is going to be there. And Billy and the Cosmic Fury team, Billy's going to come up with a plan. Billy is going to take the Cosmic Fury team into space to chase Lord Zed, while Zack men and the other rangers are going to stay back on earth and marinoi and other uh places where the side of good are and help defend that in case uh, lord zed is going for a two-pronged attack so i think we're going to be sprinkled with cameos all over i don't think it's going to wait till the end i think we're going to get different rangers inside of each episode from different ranger teams and it's going to be to the point where the old rangers from different seasons don't take over the show because this is cosmic fury so that we're going to be in there and we're going to have those nostalgia feels of nostalgia there but at the same time the cosmic fury team is still going to be in the forefront as they should be because it's their show and i think we're going to be treated to something good like i said before in my previous video i think it's going to be a roller coaster of a ride that won't stop until the end of episode 10 and it's going to be ups and downs and it's going to be great i'm looking forward to seeing this because you know, i want to see what kind of effort they put forward in this because you know this is you know going out with a thing but i think that's what's going to happen We're, i think we might get a level of especially with the zord battles of those of you who watched q ranger you know q ranger has some awesome battle scenes especially in the um in the zord variety so we're going to be treated to something very nice to and if you haven't watched cute ranger i would suggest because today is september 10th today so you got about you got some time you know i think if i'm not mistaken q ranger is 42 episodes maybe even 52 don't hold me on that because it's been a while since i watched it but you have some time if you tackle about three or four episodes a day you can be able to get through it but you'll see what i'm talking about especially when we get to an end you know we're going to be treated to some nice sword battles in a cosmic fury because they're using the uh the footage from the zord battles from q ranger so we're going to be treated to something good and i cannot wait for this because we're it's going to be the end of everything and they're i'm sure they're going to send everything off on the bang i'm sure we'll see men there we'll definitely see zach uh i i want to see if Kiss christopher cayman lee is going to be there the, the actor that plays andros i mean i i think he should be there because and i think um Selwyn Ward should be there as well because you know or any of the, the the Power Rangers and Space Team because you know in Space Team was the first one to you know be off in the cosmos like this so it'll be nice to have their mentorship going in along with Billy you know them helping out with everybody uh I think we also will see the Lost Galaxy team as well I think we're also we're going to be treated to not a death but a near death something that you won't ex expect and you're going to think that they're gone but maybe they won't be gone because this is y7 but i think we're going to be combinated to that 
other things that you can look out for today as well. They're, they're, they're going to lose a couple Zords in the battle. And the Zords are going to be damaged. And their backs are going to be against the wall. Um, well, we already know that Ali is going to be evil. So I wonder. And we also saw a scene where I, I don't know if he's going to be rescued or if he'll come out of it and then kind of play the part of being an inside man. And I don't even know if they're going to take some inspiration from Sentai because if you're if you watch Sentai and Q Ranger, the Silver Ranger, he was evil for a while. So they might even take a little bit of um they might take a little bit of inspiration from that. We're going to get Rangers going into things we haven't seen too much since the in space when Andros used to go over cover. Uh, remember that the picture that I'm going to paste right here, the picture where you see them wearing the bone attire. I think the Rangers are going to be in probably either in hiding or if not in hiding, they're going to be staking out some of the moves of Lord Zed to kind of stop his plan. So we're going to see more than just teamwork and the power of friendship. We're going to see the Rangers actually combinate to some more planning. They're going to go undercover to get information. They're going to be utilizing all the resources, which is other Ranger teams with their experience to help them get over the hump. I think we're going to get each of the Rangers utilizing their strengths and overcoming each of their individual weaknesses to help defeat the forces the Lord set in a different way. I, we're going to, I think we're going to get that as well. And we're also going to get, like I said before, other Ranger teams help out in such a way that they help the Cosmic Fury team get over. Tell me what you think about all this. I mean, what other tropes do you think are going to happen? Like I said before, we already got the evil ranger trope that that's with Ollie. We're going to have rangers backs against the wall. One of the rangers going are already seriously injured to show how big the threat of evil is like what happened to Javi. Um, I think that we're also going to have we're going to have Amelia go through growth as leader as leader of the dino uh, as leader of the cosmic fury team i think it'll come to a point where she's going to question if she's a good enough leader and she's going to have to overcome that and i think one of the things that's going to, to help her with that is you know i think she's going to try to go go like we saw the scene where amelia was there and she was not transformed and ollie was transformed but he didn't have his helmet on and she was kind of backing all the foot soldiers away with her power and hit Ali. I think at some point she's going to go the extra mile to save Ali and she's going to not want to risk the rest of the team and she's going to go in alone and try to get Ali back herself. And if I if if, if I throw in a little bit of my fan theory in there, I think it's going to happen after after Javi gets hurt and she and she's going to feel that it's her fault with her being the leader of the team and she's going Amelia is going to try to rectify what she believes is her mistake by going in alone and getting Ali and bringing him back I think that's going to be there too um, we're definitely going to get a, a more character growth from all the characters so it's going to be great I think Zayato I think he is because the way his costume looks and then you see the Morthan Masters also have a cape I wonder if they're going to have it at one point Zayato be able to fly if not I wonder if Zayato is going to become a morphing master himself I wonder I mean it looks like it because it looks like he you know with his costume and all I think that might him be the he'll he'll be moving into the role of a morphing master because I think when it like when you saw the scene when the morphing masters fly over I think it's the green morphing master if I'm not mistaken the red one I think one of those Morphin Masters are going to be killed by the evil, by Lord Zed, and and Zayato is going to have to take over. That's why him being a Zenith Ranger, his his costume's like kind of a neutral color, and along with his cape, because he doesn't have his assigned color yet. So I think he's going to be a Morphin Master. In my opinion, I think Billy might be more of the Zordon role because of his experience with the Zords and having been able to develop new powers just like Zordon did back in the day 
when when him and Alpha Five created the the White Ranger powers, I think Billy will more so be like the Zordon mentor and, and helping other teams because of his knowledge of everything, just the way Zordon did. And just like I said in a previous video, I also believe that we're going to get Zordon and Zordon's going to come back and take out Lord Zed and he's going to give a, a message to Billy you know to help heal him like you know you know everything's not your fault and you're doing a great job billy's going to be able to let go of the grief that held him back all these years so uh i think we're, we're going to get the, the story's going to be capped up and everybody's going to be, be able to receive their closure and i think it's going to be in a good way and also man i throw it in there i'm going to throw this in there because i know this video is kind of long but i'm going to throw this one part in there i think it's going to be a tearjerker at the end not sad things like one of your characters is not going to be there anymore but sad that they got their closure and they're moving forward with their lives and you're going to see tremendous character growth and you're going to be like wow you know that was great and so i think it's going to be it might be a tearjerker at the end <laughs> well tell me what you think is going to happen in this uh upcoming power rangers uh cosmic fury on september 29th Remember, like, share, and subscribe if you feel like it. Let's talk more about this in the comment sec in the comment section. Take care, everybody, and I want to thank all of you personally, from me to all of you. Thank you, because uh, at me recording this video, I'm at 517 subscribers, and I couldn't have gotten that far if you didn't watch the videos. Hit the thumbs up and also subscribe. So for those of you who did that, and for those of you who did that and helped me get beyond 517 if i got beyond 517 before the end of this video i want to thank you for the bottom of my heart because it's just a it's just nice for me to get online and talk with other people and communicate communicate with other people not only just about power rangers and sentai but other things that we like as well and i thank you for that like share and subscribe if you feel like it let's talk more about power rangers i'll see you in the next one take care everybody